Hi Aries, welcome to your December 2015 General Tarot Scope. It's Raina here. And it's very interesting because I was looking at the energies to see what the overriding theme is. And there's a lot of different stuff happening. The sun starts the month in your ninth house. And on the winter solstice on the 21st of December, in the sign of Capricorn, it goes into your 10th house of career. So you've had this Sagittarian energy, ninth house energy, Sagittarius's natural house of philosophy, foreign travel, higher education. And so you might have been in that kind of a frame of mind. Some of you who are in academia may have had some kind of new development occur, especially after the new moon in the ninth house that occurs on December 11th, possibly a promotion as a professor from a assistant professor, or some people may have decided to join a church during this time or some sort of spiritual organization. Others may have embarked on a cruise or some tour of Europe. But in the last week of December, I think you're going to start to get down to brass tacks and the light shines on you in the career sector and you can take your bow because you're going to be seen by the public in a professional sense. And you have a lot of activity in the sixth house of health and the workplace all year because Jupiter is taking up residence there until next fall, actually. And the North Node is there. So this is a really good time for work in general and career, particularly during December and onwards. Saturn has been in your ninth house of higher education, foreign travel. Some of you may have decided to go back to school and pursue an advanced degree or finish your bachelor's degree. Some of you may be getting very serious about a religious practice. Maybe you have been going to retreats. I just heard about one that is with the Catholic faith and it's like a, a it was a week long silent retreat. So it's not just Buddhist. It can be anything. But I think the Saturn transit is rather significant because I associate Aries with a very childlike frame of mind. This is like asking the serious questions of life. Why am I here? And trying to search for meaning with Saturn in this house. Venus will go from your seventh house, which is really favorable for marriages and other types of partnerships to the 8th on December 4th. And so this is favorable for getting money related to inheritances. And if you're married, a spouse's income may raise or they may get dividends from some investments or you may get dividends from some investments. Mercury is in the ninth house and it goes into the 10th house on the... 10th of December. Now, when Mercury goes into the 10th house, it's the day before the new moon in Sagittarius. So the 10th house has to do with career matters. The sun will be there, as I said, a couple of weeks after that. So you might start to be talking to somebody about a job that you have applied to. You may hear word about something. You may be going to different places and interviewing. But I think the career is favored during December overall. And there will be a new moon in January on the 9th of the month in that 10th house. So just keep that date in your mind because any discussions you have during December might pay off in January after the new moon. And then we have a full moon on Christmas day in your fourth house. <laughs> I 
This should be a doozy for those of you who are getting together with your family. I've heard different things, but I think because you're a cardinal sign that this will really affect you because the sign of cancer is also cardinal. It's going to be, the sun is going to be in Capricorn. So there's going to be some fireworks for you guys, possibly. So just know that ahead of time and don't be the um, lighter of the fuse. Sit back and just watch the show. And your heart chakra just got the work over. Okay, Aries, so the first card I picked was the Three of Swords. And this is a card of heartbreak, of being rejected. Because this is for the month of December and December has already begun, if you have not been experiencing this, it probably is not going to apply to you. So this is a general reading, as you well know. If you want something personalized using your own birth data, just click on the link below. But for those who identify with this being true for you, the message from the universe is the Seven of Swords, which indicates that someone may have taken advantage of your generosity, which you are known for. And unfortunately, there are opportunists in this world that don't have anything better to do but then to prey on generous people who like to make other people happy. So if this is what happened to you, consider yourself supremely lucky that you got rid of that kind of rubbish from your life because you don't need it. Um, but in general, it could also mean that it's telling you if you were in such a problematic relationship to be very discreet, don't tell your business to other people and complain about it because it could get around to that person and you want to separate yourself. You want to get away from that situation. And this card is about getting away from, um, the trouble it could be that you're getting away from the source of conflict. Um, but you have to do so in a stealthy manner and don't just broadcast your ideas to other people, your plans to other people. The reason for the heartbreak is the Knight of wands. So this could be another fire sign who broke your heart. And again, um, if this is the case, just uh, stay positive and realize that this too shall pass. The advice from the universe is the five of wands in reverse. And this is kind of like giving up the struggle. Don't get caught up in the fray. If there is a third party, for instance, if your partner was having an affair, don't get sucked into the drama of fighting for your man, so to speak. I'm saying man because most of my viewers are women. Don't get sucked into that because it's very demeaning to be in that position. Hold your head up high and move on. The outcome card is the Three of Pentacles, which is a very promising card. Threes represent creativity and expansion, and pentacles indicate money, business, as I said, you have a career that's going well, or you will be getting a new job shortly, but some of you might have your own businesses and it's a work in progress, but the initial stages are successful and keep on keeping on. And all the best to you, Aries, in December. Bye.